Hey guys, welcome to the Forex Trading Institute. So let's just give some other people a few minutes. We're gonna start by four parts. I wanna send an update via the WhatsApp groups. So in the meantime, you can also invite your friends. Stay tuned. <clears throat> so okay let me see something okay Uh, okay, guys, it seems like we're still waiting. Still have some few minutes, only two minutes left so that we can start. In the meantime, I'm busy sending update on the groups. Mm, all right. So, okay, guys, I think we are all sorted here. They will find us through the way. We need to start. In the, in the, in the, in the, in the meantime, let me share the background chat. Okay, uh, let's go here first. Okay, dear traders, this is our platform. This is gonna be amazing, guys. So for those who are going to miss this session, I, I don't know what they are going to do because they will miss a lot of information here. So guys, let's not waste much time. This thing, it has a limit for me. So let's just get straight to the content. Guys, I've shared an update earlier on. So okay, guys, here it goes. <clears throat> Remember here we're doing SMC, this is smart, a smart money concept, how to trade with the big banks. As you can see, the way I trade via the groups. So guys, this is a chart of NASDAQ, and let's open an hourly chart. So what is it that we gain or we benefit or we see from the hourly chart? Like why are we using the hourly chart? I will give you the reason. The main reason is to see where the market will head so remember always don't trade what you see but trade the upcoming moves so this is our hourly chart of nasdaq and then if you can be able to check today let me include period separators then if you check today let's go to five minutes i just want to show you uh 15 minutes in i just want to show you that today nasdaq just sold so today Nasdaq moved in a bearish, bearish side. Uh, let me see, yeah. So if you are able to see this one, I just wanna show you something. Here, from here, this is the highlighted zone. You know how period separators are working. If you are able to see, you will see that today Nasdaq just moved bearish. All day Nasdaq was, was selling, so there was not 
there was not enough time for you to be buying or the prediction of buy, buy, a, a, a buy setup CM who couldn't be able to get them. So if you check or if you still remember, I send the signal around somewhere around this level. Yeah, somewhere around this level. So we ate from here to there. Automatically, we ate from here to there. You see? So these are good pips to catch for NASDAQ in a daily movement. So guys, how did I manage to see that NASDAQ will sell today? How did I manage to see that NASDAQ will sell? Check this out. Let's remove period separators. <laughs> Yeah, and then we'll go back to the hourly chart. So if you can see, guys, we had the bullish run, uh, the bearish run, I mean. So what is it that made me to be able to, 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 to predict that NASDAQ will sell is this one. So guys, remember here we are not trading alone or the market is not controlled by us. It's controlled by the big banks. And the big banks, we are referring to institutions or the people who are able to place a lot of uh, 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 trades here in, in such a way, a high volume. When I talk about mini trades, the way I trade, those are not mini trades. Guys, remember the big banks, they place 1 million or 1 billion sell orders if they sell or buy orders if they buy, but then it's a million or a billion. So the moment they place trades in the market, because they are placing a higher volume of trades, the market will have to follow at their direction. Remember, Forex is working about the law of demand and supply. So the more sell orders they come into market, the, the more the market sells or the stronger the momentum. So this thing is just controlled by the big banks. We are talking about Bank of Japan, institutions like insurance, uh, hedge funds, those are the people who are controlling the market. So you know, are just small traders who don't have any impact. Even if I place my trades with a hundred lot, still there is nothing that I can do to influence the market. So guys, <clears throat> let's get to the business. If you still remember my setup on Nasdaq was something like this. It was that Nasdaq will move from this level. Which level is it? It was from this level and then to, 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 to this level. If you still remember my my setup that I shared on the WhatsApp group. So if we check here, what is it special for NASDAQ or why is NASDAQ have to move like from here to that level? Mm, let me highlight. Guys, NASDAQ, it will come and refill this movement or this gap. So the reason that is behind this thing, this, uh, let, me, let me just simply draw this, all right, uh, 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 Let me simple highlight this I P D A. So, what do I mean about I P D A zone, guys? I P D A zone it's a zone where the market has to come and refill the unbiased gap. This gap, if you can check, guys, uh, it wasn't yet filled because of what we had this. This was an event, but then since I don't trade for the metals, I don't remember which event was this one. Or maybe it was NFP, but I dealt if NFP it sold. So NFP, it was here. So I will show you how the market moves. So guys, if you can check, here we only had buyers. Only buyers were buying in this zone or in this kind of situation or in this period. So it was unfair to sell us because they couldn't get enough chance to participate in the market. So if you can check this movement that I'm, 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 I'm trying to highlight, I'm talking about something like this, you can see this, we call it a bullish liquidity void. So if we had sellers in this a, 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 a bullish run, all sellers, they were kicked out because of the market was having a high number of buy orders. All the big banks of the market makers, they were having many buy trades. So all those sell trades were kicked out. Then um, <clears throat> another thing that you must always know on fundamentals, guys, I can trade fundamentals if I want, and then just that I don't love them. So in fundamentals, guys, the market makers, they use fundamentals to 
uh, 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 manipulate the price action or to manipulate the market or to kick out small traders. Because in the meantime, there are people who will think them, okay, I will explain this later because I will confuse you. So remember my topic as I shared the link, I told you that we're gonna be checking on how to check reversals on set and certain levels and also explain money. So the first thing in our chart, this is our chart, this is Nasdaq. And then we know or we predicting thing that the market, we it must come and fill this gap. Then this is a what? IPDA zone, it, it has been identi uh, highlighted there. Then the market has to come and fill. So meaning we still have there and fill the gap. Because here we only had buyers, then we also have to have sellers because it's going to be unfair for the market to keep buying for the long term while we don't have sellers. So you can automatically, doesn't make sense. You can't sell, you can't sell something to no buyers. So we exchange. That's why the market, even if it's an uptrend, it goes in the form of zigzags. So if you check here, the first thing that I want to alert you, we had what we call 50% retracement or gap refill. If you can check, we had 50%. When talking about 50%, we are talking about something like this. If you can check this, the market just managed to come back and fill 50%. So this is still unfair or it's unhealthy for the market to be refilling 50%. And then if you can check, we are having a big rejection here. Let me highlight it. This is a big rejection. So in this condition, what happens in this zone, I'll, I'll explain. So guys, if you check here, the market went up, then it came back to refill 50%, then it went up, you see? So this level is 50% retracement. So still yet it's healthy for the market to, to, uh, to retrace or to refill 50% because this, it shows that the market is working accordingly to favor both sides of the market participants. So we had buyers only, then we also had sellers, and then it continued, it, 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 it ran up. It shows that still, this is something that you can expect. And then I will share this other PDF. I, 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 I've tried to explain about this refills, 50%, 25%, 75%, and 100%. So this is 50%, and then this is what? This is 100%. So what happens here, guys, is this. Since the market came back up, we have to know that on this zone, somewhere around here, the market has to go down. You see? Somewhere there, we, we have to be able to predict for a reversal. So how do we predict this reversal? This is part of the topic, as I've earlier explained or mentioned it. So this is how we, we start a, 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 a checking if the market will truly go down on this zone. Then if you can check, this was NFP. So if I was trading, I was going to be able to catch this cell. I still remember this was NFP, you see? So in this NFP, I wasn't there, I wasn't available, but we should have a big there. So check here, guys. <clears throat> let, me, let me clear these drawings and use a zones. And we're going to be switching to a lower time frame. So I just want to explain something that happened in, in this kind of situation. Mm, uh, let's use a different color. Okay, I'll use blue. I think you are all able to see this. So this is an hourly chart. What do we do now? We go back to a lower time frame. Uh, let's go to 15 minutes, guys. I think 15 minutes is going to be kind of interesting and straightforward. So here we arrive, guys. This is our 15 minutes time frame. So always know, as for those who read my PDFs, I always tell them, what is it that the market will do before it? Or what's the signal that you have to wait for the market to show you that it will change direction? Something like this. You see, guys, we're going to be having an uptrend, uptrend, uptrend. And then what will happen if the market is now wants to change its direction, it will do something like this. We start consolidating, 
And then on that consolidation, what will happen? This is going to be building a, sub, a sideways trend. And then we're going to have a rejection and then comes back and then start consolidating. Then from there, start doing what? Start moving slowly away from the zone. And then by that time, it's doing or it's creating a downtrend. So this is just an ordinary law of order flow. This we call it order flow, uptrend, and then sideways, and then a rejection, or what we call liquidity injection. And then from there, what happens? A downtrend. This is the formation automatically. This is a nice reversal signal from the market caused by the big banks. So this is how it goes when we go back to the, to the chart. Let's go back and check the chart. If you can check, as I was saying, you see, this was an uptrend. First confirmation, Tanko, we agree. And then this is the consolidation. Footy, I didn't even draw this uh, zone accordingly. Let me show you. Let me adjust you. Let me adjust it. Exactly. Exit. You will never go wrong, guys. I'm telling you. Say, so, okay, you check. Let me change the color to red. If you can check, this is the consolidation that I'm talking about. And then what happened? This is what I'm talking about the liquidity injection. Liquidity injection. This level or this zone, it's just creating a big havoc to small traders because they will be chasing the market. They think the market will continue buying or they have set a stop loss above this zone. Then it hits their stop loss. Then from there, the market goes down. Then it will still go down again. It's just tripping. This is what we call manipulation. This is like something like this. It will consolidate, go up, go down, then come back, consolidate, and then start moving downwards. Downwards. This is how we trade Forex in a professional man. So guys, this is the signal the market is going to be giving you. So the moment, the moment you see something like this, the moment you see something like this, always put it in mind that the market is no longer going to be selling. It's gonna do it. It's, go, it's no longer going to go up. It's gonna sell. Then this is a confirmation. So the first confirmation, uptrend approved, then consolidation approved, then liquidity injection or fake breakout. Others, they call it fake breakout or false breakout. Whatever you call it, guys, it's still the same thing. So what will happen now? The market, will start moving if you can check it will no longer come back from this line it will no longer it will start moving in a slow manner downwards then if you check it's now still below you see and then what happens this is a nice signal for you to be able to sell so this nfp is straightforward to be honest if you missed this one then you are dead you are no longer going to be able to trade fundamentals because this one was straightforward. so if you check in the meantime here what happens is this, you sell, you sell, and let me clear all the drawings. You sell here, check this arrow, then, okay, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? You sell here, let me make it bigger so that everyone can be able to see it. You sell here, or even if it's not here. So what you do is this. Let's erase this level so that it can be clear to everyone. So guys, don't be surprised when you see me drawing levels like that. So you highlight or you take the highest rejection from that breakout that I was talking about. You draw it something like this. And then what happens? Every time the market, when it approaches this zone, this blue level, it's where you keep selling. And then you know that anytime it create a swing level or a swing point that is gonna be below from that, that rejection, something like this. Let me show you guys. Why yet to work? Let me show you. You see, as I told you that the market will no longer come back from that level. So you start selling when the market approaches this zone. And then from there, I don't want to confuse a lot of people because there was an order block to catch this NFP. And then many people will be confused. So let's just do it separately. I'm just showing you how to expect the reversals and manipulation. So this is manipulation. If we all agree, let's just check this level. Manipulation approved. And then 
lower level approved, that is below the manipulation or the liquidity injection zone approved, then what happens? Now the market, you must know, that's why we use blocks. The market, you must know that it will never, it will never come back above these two levels if it wanna sell. Then we apply that thing. This was what I call an order block. And then from there, what happened? This was your NFP. And then you sell there. Then where do you set your stop loss for those who love using stop loss? You said it few pips away from what? Few pips, keep this on mind. Few pips away from this zone, not few pips away from this zone. Because sometimes the market can come back and retrace here and go down. So this is an advantage, disadvantage of using stop loss if you set it near the zone. The next time set it a few pips away from that level. Then it sell. And then if you check, if you check at the end of the time, as I told you, the market will start moving, moving far away from those, far away from that level or that zone. If you check, here's another one. It's, it's not starting to move. Guys, this thing is very simple. Only if you focus and you don't forget what I'm showing you. And then if you check what happens, check another one. This is another swing level. It's moving far away from that level. And then what will end up doing? It will end up crashing. You see, it will end up the very same setup that I've shown. Consolidation, consolidation, liquidity injection, it goes back, it comes back, it consolidate, then it starts creating lower, a, a, a swing points that are lower from each other. And then it consolidate, then it will crash, crash. That's how it builds liquidity. So the moment, guys, this thing, it's kind of, um, it's kind of consolidating, consolidating like this. It's creating or it's generating bearish liquidity. Always keep this in mind, guys. The moment the market, it consolidates like this, it's generating liquidity. The moment once it goes away from that uh, 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 sideways trend, this is the sideways trend, guys. You know this. The moment the market moves from this sideways trend, I it's gone, gone for good. I will never catch it. So, so this was clear. I think everything was clear. Then when you switch to a lower time frame, you a higher time frame, or go back to one hour, you'll be able to see that. Oh no, man, the market is just going down. Why it has consolidated here and then like that, like that, exit. So let me show you something. Let's erase everything here. Ah, uh, guys, I'm sure today when this session ends, you, you will have gained a lot of information or knowledge. I'm making everything simple. Then let's go to a five minute time frame. I want to show you something that we call imbalancement in a clear pitch. Um, uh, yes, here. Yeah. Guys, remember what I told you, that the market, it has to be fair to both participants. We had, we had a what? This, we had this as an NFP sell. So Mina, every time, for those who've been trading with me, they know we don't chase the market. If we want to trade events, we trade oppositely. We trade in an opposite manner. If it sells, we don't chase it, we don't sell, we just relax. Then we know that the market has to do one, has to come back and refill this crash or refill this drop. Only sellers were, were, were selling here. So the, 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 the biggest thing that makes people to lose on fundamentals is that when the market is selling, they just sell. They think the market will keep selling. And in the meantime, the market will just pop up, go back up without even giving you a signal. So if you check, guys, if you check, check here what happened. This it was a clear drop. This is NFP. And then how do you expect that the market will start reversing? Guys, we use rejections. If you don't know what's a rejection today, then you will learn. This is a rejection. You see a long shadow. It's a rejection. So the moment you see that longer shadow, always know that the market is usually to reverse because there are buy orders that are getting in the market. It's, they are busy pushing up the market to go up. So if you check, this is the current move. 
then this is the imbalance. This highlighted green zone, this is what we want to trade. This is a nice trading. Uh, 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 I can say this is a nice trading plan because what happens? The market goes down, you don't rush, you don't chase it, you just relax. Then you know that, okay, what happened? The market will have to go away, back up to refill that thing. Either you know 100% sure, either 50%, either 100%, either 75%, either 25%, something like this. So we know, we know that the market has to go up and start if it gives us 100%. What do I mean? 100%. I mean, it's where the market started to drop. That is our 100% target. And then from there, we can be able to expect a reversal because we know that the market had to go back and refill. Those people who were, who, who were selling here, they were being selfish to buy us. They couldn't be able to sell to buy us. So we know that the market will have to come back come back or go back to refill. So mostly I can give you time estimation, maybe 20 minutes after the event, then you can be expecting to look for the reversal. So what happens? This is the rejection that I'm talking about. You buy above the rejection, you see? Entry, this is our entry, entry, this is our entry guys, we buy, this is our entry, then where do we set stop loss? Stop loss, I told you, this is our rejection. Eh? We set our stop loss few pips away from that rejection. Stop loss, yeah. And then I'm telling you guys, our are going far. Our are going far. If you can follow this, we are going far. You see, we said stop loss here. This is our rejection, few pips away from the rejection. Stop loss, and then what happened? You, you, but guys, check this out. You, you will to, to risk to lose from there to there, lose, loss. Then if you accept the loss, it's from here to here. But if you win from here to there, ha, ha, check, win. And, and if you check, at the end of the day, we won all those trades. We won this move. This is what we talk about in balancement. The moment the market goes down, don't chase it, just relax and love the people who will be selling. Then when you do it the different way, every time, guys, only success to, 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 to Forex trading is to trade the upcoming move. Think about what's going to happen next. Don't trade what you see now. You sell now, the market goes up. It leaves you hanging down there. And I know I'm talking from experience. Many people have been experiencing this. So always, the market, when it sells, don't rush. Wait for it. It will come back then trade the upcoming move. Then if you check here, guys, this is what we are talking about. About This is our 25% TP1, TP1, TP2 on 50%, and then 50%, and then 75%, TP3, for those who love using TP. So I mean, I don't love using TPs because sometimes just imagine your trades are closed here, then you win, you want to death. Just imagine you limited yourself to profits. And then this is our 100%, which is our last TP. TP, four. For those who are using TPs, they can do this. But then I mean, I hate them because at the moment, let's say you traded from, you entered here. From here to there, Trades are closed here. You limited yourself into profits. Simple like that. So, guys, next time, never chase the market on fundamentals for those who love trading fundamentals. And then this is how we trade uh, manipulations. So, this is a manipulation, guys. The moment the market creates something like this, many, many traders are crying or were crying here. Now, so from here, this is what we call liquidity injection, I, uh, which is caused by manipulation. This is what we call a clear picture of manipulation. So next time, guys, make sure you don't repeat such mistakes. Then now let's wrap up everything so that we can close our session.
and then let me zoom uh let me delete everything here control p ah, okay then now if, if you check guys what will happen now remember this nasdaq we have to refill this gap then the thing that will happen now we are expecting for the market to come back and refill 100 percent from this zone and then from there we are we're gonna be smiling so another thing for scalping trades or how to expect a scalping reversal is something like this i always use rejections so you see this rejection here we can get a nice clear reversal then for from there to there and then from there something like this it might happen something like this you see so the, the market it has to obey this le level it has to there is no already you can see it's starting to buy but it's not a long buy just a scalping buy you can just aim your matter candles near at least you eat then then grow your account then you are able to be looking to sell then you can be looking for sell reversals on a lower time frame this h1 then you can switch to my 15 minutes and then i will switch now and show you then from there this is what we're gonna be expecting simple and clear straightforward no indicators then let's just go to 15 minutes and show you how to expect reversals from that level and then there is something that we call flip zones or you can be still using the rejections from these levels you see such rejections it means that there was something that was happening a, a traders were fighting there then from there you can be able to sell simple like that and you know that the market has to reject the daily candle level is closing now so obvious a short buy and a short buy like not a long term buy then from there you can be able to stay tuned and then let me zoom in and show you you see all the candles here this is not stuck like a daily chart you see all the candles are having shadows and then now we, it can push up back to this level and start tomorrow continuing selling simple like that and then at the end of the day this is how we trade any questions guys can be asked via my whatsapp this video was recorded i'll upload there for those who attended i really appreciate your attendance guys here we are not trading i was just showing you how to do this and check this and check this and check this this thing is simple guys the only thing that you do when you go to the market is fear the moment when you open the chart you you doubt if you want to sell look for sales don't buy if you start deciding if i can sell or buy just close that chart and look for a good eh, 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 eh another another maybe another pair or another asset because the moment you fight or your mind is starting to fight i it's gonna be a big problem because when you sell it goes up you should ish, i should have buy then you buy it goes down ish, i should have sell so you end up being confused so if you sell guys you sell you better lose the trade if you sell 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 stop loss it, it kicks you out you you're done check another entries this is how we trade guys it doesn't mean if you're trading uh, or maybe i have whatever years i've been trading i don't do less we do make loss a loss is part of the game so if others win others lose if others lose others win so this is how we do it guys just make sure you don't doubt keep fear here it's business you won't make money without losing there is no such thing you bet obvious it's a sacrifice you want money either you lose something there is something that you have to lose there's something we call opportunity cost even those people who are working they go to work they lose their energy and also their time is being used to get the man so here we don't go to work we don't even wake up uh, 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 i need a uniform and stuff we just only sit down but what we lose it's money to gain money straight forward guys good luck this is the end of our session until we meet on the next session any questions guys will be asked will be asked via inbox please guys appreciate your your attendance till we meet on the next session uh before i leave i want to tell for up and then you all have my whatsapp number so guys please make sure you text me save your names uh, so that i can be able to save your tens you save my 10 two and then you text me and then from there we grow And uh, please make sure, guys, you send me a, a feedback for this session. 
via WhatsApp. Tell me, what did you learn if you have a question, ask me via inbox, and then everything I will try by all means to clarify you. So guys, feel free, it's at home. Text me now with your names, guys, so I can save your chance. You can leave. This is the end of our session. I'm out, guys. Peace.